Hello and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. We've got a 10p hunt for you today. And luckily we've got a hundred pounds of seal bags inside uh, this seal bag of 10p's. Got them from the bank. So really looking forward to having a, a good hunt through these. Let, uh, let me show you what me and Lady M are looking for. So this is our, our new coin book. And what we've done is we've uh, we've put the, the letters in as we found them. And the idea is we want the 2018 and the 2019 coin next to each other. So the two A's, the two B's, the two C's, and so on all the way through. And the best example is the H's. So that's a 2018 H and a 2019 H right next to each other. And we want to go all the way through until we completely, uh, completely fill the book. So uh, I want to do a big thank you to, right, the waiter's there, do you want a big thank you to Tech Guy Matthew, who uh, went and printed and cut all these uh, all these pictures out for us, so we know exactly what we're looking for. So we've got W, S, M, K, two H's and a B, and hopefully in this hunt we will find uh, another letter to go in the album. So it's me and Lady M, as always, and we'll get cut into this bag. Right, so before we start, um, just want to uh, show you the new uh, bungle sign. So it's exactly the same as the other one, but it was getting a little bit, uh, a little bit faded the other one, and a little bit dirty. So Lady M and Ellie had a, um, had a go at redoing it, and I've also laminated this one. So hopefully it should stay nice and clean. So big thanks to them too for the the redesign, the slight redesign or revamping of the old logo. It was beginning to look a little bit tired so let us know what you think of the new mat right let's crack straight on so we've got a slightly different angle as well so the new mat we've had the opportunity to try a, a slightly different angle so we'll see yeah uh, so we'll see how we go right lady M, let's uh, let's start flipping so uh, there's two different designs there's the shield design and there's also the lion design and what we are looking for is anything from 2018 or 2019, which should hopefully be the A to Z 10p that we can stick in the album. So we've had a few hunts recently of the of the 10 pences, and I was able to talk pretty much all the way through. Um, I think I've pretty much run out of things to say now, mine. So I think there'll be quite a bit of speeding up in this uh, in this video, but we'll get through the first bag and then we'll. Uh, We'll take it from there. So, oh yeah, thank you. So those of you who uh, have been have watched all the episodes, this is episode four. Oh sugar, this is episode four, I think, of the uh, of the ten p hunts, and I'm three nil up. Um, so we've turned this into a little mini challenge uh, videos as well. So um, I'm three nil up because I was able, lucky enough, to find a letter in each of the hunts. Oh, and uh, found a nice little. Uh, 10 pence there, which I've never seen anything like this before in my life. My word. The Great Siege, does that say? 1779 to 1743. And it's a Gibraltarian. Gibraltar. Yeah. So Gibraltar 10 p absolutely fantastic. First time I found anything like that. So that's great. Um, so let's start the point system, Lady M. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. whoops. Oh dear, I've got drop seat. So what are the point, what's the points going to be? So if you find a... An alphabet letter. Mm. They've got to be worth the most points. Mm -hmm. And if you find the territories, I think they're the next lot of points. Mm -hmm. And if you find a foreign coin or anything that's a bit unusual, you get a point. So should we do that? Yeah. A point for. I don't like these bags. No, not I'm currently suffering from um, coin turner's wrist <laughs> as well. <laughs> I've had quite a bit of wrist pain. Um, over the last couple of days, and I think it must be mm. I'm putting down to the amount of coin flips that I've uh, I've done in uh, in recent times. Um, so yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So um, three points for alphabet, two points for a territories, and one point for a, for a foreign or, or any anything else of interest. What do you think, Lady? Yeah, sounds good to me. Are you happy with that one? Yeah. Great. Um, and let's see whether you've got a chance of uh, of pulling a, an episode back. 
and well, hopefully I'll be I'll quite happily take a 4 nil lead as well. So yeah. So yeah, I think we'll so we'll start speeding up I think. Just because if one thing the coin hunts have told me you don't find many and I don't want to draw on too much so we'll speed up. Yes, yes, oh. yes, yes! Right, okay, so um, Lady M seems to have fluked her, uh, <laughs> fluked her letter. Uh, and it's E, do you know what E stands for? Is it English breakfast? It is, and then flip it over, what year is it? 2018 or 19? 19. 19, nice. Very nice indeed, Lady M. That is, Sweet. Uh, that is a great uh, a great coin. Okay, awesome. let's, let's not dwell. <laughs> let's uh, let's, just, let's, that one, let's just crack on we have So we've definitely... So it's already been a great hunt. We've already got something new for the uh, for the album. Well done, Lady M. We've also got some shout outs for you as well. So if you've uh, left a comment recently, well, I say recently, depends when we film the video, I suppose. Or if you've subscribed relatively recently, we'll uh, be giving you a shout out. So I'll look forward to that. First 10 pence I've found. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please, Oh, hang on. Oh, a my word! Oh. Oh. <laughs> so he's, he's been finding something, oh. and you just topped me with an L. Oh, that is awesome. I like that one. Loch Ness Monster. I don't think we've got L, have we? No, we haven't. Let's have a quick look. I think or it's, have we? No, I think it's S we've got. Okay, just uh, just back up a bit so I can see the book. Thank you. Yeah, no, we haven't. It's down there. Oh, well. Bottom. Oh, oh, yeah, great. So we've already got two for the album. Okay, what year is it? It's what it is. Just, oh. 2018. Well done, Lady Anne. Wow. Two awesome. alphabets in the first few bags. So I've got a, a a foreign coin here, a Territories coin for the Falkland Islands. Oh, wow. That is amazing. So you only have one of the Falklands Island, Island coin, I think, and it was a five pence that I got given from the post office raider, so this is my first ever Falklands that I found in a hunt. So really pleased with that. How many points did we say it was for territories? Was it five? <laughs> five for territories. So this is already a great hunt. Uh, off camera, last um, last night, I, uh, I went to 100 pounds worth of change, 10 piece, and didn't find anything at all. So I was so glad I, uh, so glad I, I didn't film it because it would have been pretty boring. Although I know I kicked myself because I did film another one. That's why I've got so many letters in the um, in the folder. Because there was one that I went to I didn't film and I found loads. Mm. So he did it on his own. I'm sure that um, I haven't edited the episode before this one yet. So oh, 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 oh. Yes. so we've got an M for Macintosh. Now we've already got an M. You do. Let's um, should we see what uh, see what year we need. I think I think it's a two thousand and uh, you just turn them pages over for me, yeah. lady. M, please. So there's the M. Mm, it is. That must be the nineteen you've got, is it? Yep, it's the nineteen. So hopefully that is an eighteen. Come on, baby, for the album. It's an eight. It's yes. an eighteen. Get in. And that also right. means that I think I've taken the lead as well. Because uh, it's yeah. Because it was oh, we yeah, decided be, two, yes. four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Just to your. Poultry six, so <laughs> get in there. So pleased with, uh, pleased with that. Have to pull something good out now. I forgot what I was saying. I remember what I was saying before then. Yeah. Before I got distracted with an M. M for Lady M. No, I've forgotten. Oh yes, I remember. So I was saying that. Um, I was saying that in the last episode, I haven't edited edited the last episode as yet but I'm sure that um, I did say that I would show the coins that I'd found in a hunt I didn't film because I, I had posted them on Instagram so hopefully if you watched episode 3 you'll know of the uh, why we've got so many coins in the album Oh, 
What? Jersey. Jersey points. Unfortunately, that's the only territory's coin that doesn't score any points in the um, in this in this hunt. Um, Why is this? Oh, okay. What were you squealing at? Oh, we found some uh, alphabet. So Ellie's just joined in, and Ellie will need to close the door because all we can hear in the background, I think, is friends. Yep. And his uh, favourite program. It is indeed. So yeah, could you hear us, like? Yeah, I heard you squealing on the TV. Yeah, so, well, I've never found I heard a. You squeal, Mom. I've never found a um, an alphabet before, and I found my first alphabet, and I've found two now. E for Ellie. <coughs> oh, E for English breakfast. Ellie's better than English breakfast, though. Ellie's had plenty of English breakfast. That is true, but I'm sure you've had more than me in your life. Yeah, but I don't eat all of them, so I don't need to delete all. No. Bye bye. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm fighting with this bag. <laughs> it's because I'm a coin turner's wrist. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to need strength. I'm sure when Christopher uh, and Patrick have their 10p hunts, they just rip them. <laughs> and the Caledonian coins. He doesn't seem to have any problem getting in. Unless it's me. Oh no, I've done two half a bag's by mistake. Oh, honestly. Oh, disaster. Don't be asking me to sort yours out at the end. Oh, yeah, because we're trying something different because it always takes us ages to count the coins. So I'll come up with an ingenious uh, pot <laughs> idea where we have 20 individual pots. And then you can just we can just put them. Oh, oh, it doesn't work anyway because if you found a letter, this thought so you could put we put them in individual oh. pots, yeah. so it's easy to. Um, We're not normally this good, though, are we? No, I'm not normally found this many. Um, so put them in the pots, so you know you've got twenty in each pot, so you can just put them, bag them straight back up because it takes forever just putting them into one big pot. Um, but yeah, so I've already <laughs> blown it by opening two half a bags. <laughs> And of course, where we have found the odd 10p, you, um, I don't know which pot it was. Yeah, no, me neither. So I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to design a better system. Yeah. I, uh, I think. And I thought, although at least it's something, we could probably do it by weight. So we just put them in a way, then we'll know which ones are, which is slightly, uh, which is slightly underweight. So we've done something slightly different as well, where we've, uh, we split the bags, so we've got 10 each, because we, because we've got these pots all around us, putting the 10 pences in. Um, you can't see them because they're off camera. Um, it meant that we couldn't open the bags the same way, the big bag, because we normally open it and then push it, push it up over and then grab from there. But we can't, so that's what we're uh, we're doing there. So we're surrounded by these pots. Plus we train the thoughts. Like I've said many times, I can't do two things at <laughs> once. I struggle to talk and flip at the same time, especially with this wrist. Just surprising. Right, come on, I think uh, I'm currently losing. Oh yeah, I was saying, so we have 10 bags each, so we actually split them at the beginning. 10 for me, 10 for Lady M, so she can't diddle me out of opening an extra bag. I'm gonna show you she does. So I've got, oh, how does that work? There's a, there's a rogue 10p on there, so which pops that out, Oh, man? honestly, you are just not good at this, are you? Well, have you took a, have you took a note of which ones your coins come out of? No, but that's your design problem. <laughs> All right, yeah, okay. <laughs> The design Partners, you know, 50, 50, 50 yeah. in this. I know it's called Bungle Collects, but you've certainly got uh, <laughs> as much to play in this as I have. <coughs> Especially because you were promoted from initially from treasurer <laughs> to uh, co-presenter, so... It's a coin flipper. Yeah, chief, chief coin flipper. i tell you what I do think as well about the, these coins. The, the queen. The, um... The 50 piece. The the shields, I think they look like alphabets. You only catch just a little bit of a hint of a lion's yeah. tail or something like that. Sometimes I think that about uh, 50 pence as well. Oh, I'm okay with the 50 piece. I think that's because I just know them inside out. Mm. I could spot them a mile off. Although, saying that, some 50 piece I sometimes think of Newton's because you've got that kind of spacey yeah. coin on it. And then the shield looks a little bit like it's happening, so anyway, especially if I'm in the bank and I'm waiting to get served and someone else is paying in and I'm trying to look through their bag at the bags to see whether there's anything interesting in there. I look a bit weird, but 
I think, oh, yeah, it's that one, and then it's not. It just ends up being a shield or something like that. Right, so we're on a bit of a barren spell here, Lady M. Yeah. Started like a train. You did. And, uh, well, we did. Does it, do these rip? Nah, they, I think they will just rip, you know. I'm trying to punch a hole in. Uh, started off like a train with uh, three letters and three territories. And we haven't done anything as we only bags of you got left. We've got three in a bit. Yeah. Are we are we putting them straight in the album as well? Yeah. Yes. Excellent. We got, oops, we're gonna put our own in, each other's in. Or is one of us gonna put them up no, all in? Put them all in. Oh. You're very kind. The uh, anybody still listening? Because <laughs> I don't know, like I say, it gets a little bit oh. Oops, is that yours or mine? No, it was me. Subject matter does get a little dry when he's looking at the same 10 pages over and over again. And I wish I knew, oh, I wish I could speed up the videos faster than times two to get through the other ones, but I can't do it on iMovie. Anyway, so anybody who's still watching, thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please do click like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because we're really wanting to grow our subscriber base. Uh, we're on Facebook at Bungle Collects Coins, Instagram, Bungle underscore collects. And you can also email me if you've got any questions or just want to make contact for any reason. Please do email me at bungalcollects at gmail.com. And if you can give me any advice on how to deal with coined, coin turner's wrist, <laughs> I would uh, really appreciate this because it's certainly, it's certainly getting sore. I'm not struggling to, to grip these hard here. This is not good. This is doing nothing for my macho image. I struggle to rip open the bags. Yeah, and please do look, uh, watch our 50p hunts. That's how we, we started off on the 50ps. So please do go back and watch them if you've not, if this is the first time you've seen a video. And if you're interested in 50 pences as well, please go back and watch them. And of course, I'm really keen on some feedback on the this camera angle and the uh, and the new sign. Did Lady M and Ellie do a good job? Is what I need to know. Uh, I've got to admit, it was mainly Ellie. <laughs> um, Lady M did the B, which looks a little a little ropey, and then Ellie, because Ellie designed the designed and made the original um, logo stroke mat. She then took over and finished it off. Oh, damn. I tried to open another bag there. That's what got half a bag left. Oh, it's so clean. Oh, just disorganised. I need, need at least a territories here. Don't lose a... <coughs> Mind you, if I am going to lose an episode, I'll certainly be uh, well beaten. Uh, yes. And it'll be worth it for these, uh, the okay. amount of coins that you've got. <clears throat> So we've still got some shout outs still as well. So stay tuned for them. That'll be whoever finishes their bag first. We'll do the we'll do the shout outs. And I hope it's there at the end because I'm atrocious at reading out names. I've butchered many people's names in previous episodes. <clears throat> but looks like it probably will be me because this is my last bag. Yeah. Oh, you, have to, you, have to bring, you have to bring it over a bit oh, so sorry. it focuses. Still there we go. Still getting used to the camera. St. Germain's Cathedral, yeah. Nice. 10p. Isle of Man, 2003. Looks like I'm going to win. Excellent. Uh, fine, Lady M. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Right, so that is that's the end of my bag. So Lady M's got one uh, one bag left. Oh, she's getting into some disarray with the pots. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Slags me off, but <laughs> looks like she's done something similar. Rectified my problem. Okay, okay. Right, so as it, Lady M does the uh, the last bag. Yeah, I think she's trying to keep it to herself just by not being in shot there. That's a bit better. Because you've moved well, the you've camera. Got, you've got the whole screen yourself now. You know, oh, well. you've got all the limelight. You've got to talk us through. So lion, lion, <laughs> lion, <laughs> lion, shield. No, you don't want to talk no, through. No, you are right though. You do the shower. Okay, so some shout outs to Darren Oliver, Oliver, to Terry Nickel. Hello, Arthur underscore YT. Margaret Carolyn and Connor Dog. So I hope I'm pronouncing uh, hope I'm pronouncing that right, Connor. Hope I haven't uh, butchered anybody's uh, names there. So, like I say, thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate um, everybody who watches the channel. It really is quite humbling to know that people want to watch our our coin hunt. So it really does uh, make us proud every time we see the the subscribers grow and the comments get uh, the comments grow and views and whatever it's absolutely fantastic so there we go. thank you very much to all of you who do subscribe right okay what i haven't done lady m is i never thought about the territories coins so nice. we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to be creative and um we're gonna have to put them in the other album later what we'll do is maybe show them show the other album with the territories coins in at the beginning of the next episode eh? okay. right okay so we'll do an alphabetical order then so e the oh yeah, good idea. And then, so E. I think I wonder. L and M. Eh, can't remember now. <laughs> right. So E. Hey, what was it? What year was this one? So let's have another look at it. Two thousand and nineteen. E for English breakfast. So that wants to be in here. Maybe underneath the flap. That's it. Mm -hmm. No, it's not, is it? That's the downside. So it was a rubbish idea of uh, Tech Guy to put the actual circles in for the coins because they're rock hard to get hold of. It looks nice though. It does look nice, it looks fantastic. And that's it, these are hard to get in anyway because they're such small uh, albums. Oh, come on, right, here we go, we're getting somewhere now. Right, there's E. English breakfast. Okay, what's next? L. L. Yeah. Let's have a look at L for Loch Ness monster. Nice coin, that isn't it? It is. Really is a lovely coin. They're, they're all amazing. The uh, the yeah. amount of uh, effort that went into uh, designing these is phenomenal. No wonder they released the same set twice because it must cost them a fortune to develop them and you know come up with such great designs. Yeah. Right, you're gonna have to do that again. I think, lady, I'm trying to get that uh, trying to get that out. Right, and the last one is M. Um, what year was this again? Is it 2018? Yeah, because yeah, you've gone to 19. That is, a, that is fantastic, though, isn't it? Yeah. So let's double team this uh, circle. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a bit easier there, yeah. Yeah, because it's at the top, so I'm quite sorry, didn't it? She's nice. <laughs> oh, pushed it so much in. Oh, there we go. Fabulous. Right, so let's see what, can we, what happens. Oops, what happens if we zoom in? So let's go right the way through the book. So we've got our B for Bond. Oh, is that too far? That'll work. So B for Bond, A for English Breakfast, our two H's, K, one L, two M's, an S, and a W. So absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to uh, carry on filling this book. And what an achievement that's gonna to be to, uh, if we do actually completely uh, completely fill it, it'll be some achievement, that one. Right, let's show the uh, let's show the territories coins. Should we make them, we'll make them the thumbnailer. Okay. 
we won't uh, we won't give things away too much in this episode via the thumbnail. Pens are very dirty. I, I wonder if they're just ten pence a dirty I think, I think, pencils. I think so. Oh, oh. Well. Yeah, my hands don't hardly get dirty at all with 50 p's, but 10 pence is mucky mm. as. Okay, so there they go. So we've got the, the Falkland Islands, we've got the uh, Gibraltar, Jersey, and Isle of Man. So four different territories as well. That's excellent. Yeah, it is. And I think uh, there's an extra 10 bonus points for Falklands because the Falklands is so far away. Mm. Um. Mm. I think uh, I think that's how it should work. To be honest with you, um, there we go. There's the backside as well. All right, okay, that's the end of uh, this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and to like uh, the video. Watch our other videos. Really appreciate you watching, and we will see you in the next episode.